Hi guys, how are you doing? This is Sebastian and before we get this video started, I have to say that I'm in a pretty pumped up and rent ready mood to so take uh, this into consideration. But today's video is about how on earth it's still possible that even in 2016, Android updates still suck. So Android M Marshmallow was announced and released in October 2015. Now we're in the middle of April 2016 and only very few devices have actually seen the Android M update. And in fact, Google even already announced Android N, the successor to Android M, a few weeks ago. So I have a couple of devices here that still haven't seen the Android M update and I think that's just a shame. So to start off, the LG G Flex 2, which you might have seen my review of. I think it's a fantastic smartphone. I don't even think that there's official word here if the device will even get Android M, which is an absolute shame because with the Snapdragon 800 processor and the 30 megapixel camera with laser autofocus, it's certainly one of the higher end devices of 2015 and still we don't even know if it will get the update to the latest Android version. If you can even call Android M the latest because N is already announced. So shame on LG, no update inside and no information on whether this device will get Android M or even when. So real shame right there. Moving on, another manufacturer, this time it's Asus. So here I have the uh, ZenPad 8 and this is the higher end ZenPad 8. So it has four gigabytes of RAM and an Intel Atom processor. And yes, this is not like the highest end tablet, but it retails for around like 350 euros. So it's not too cheap either. And still no sight of Android M. And last but certainly not least, my current daily driver in terms of smartphone. This is the Huawei Mate 7. So I really love this phone and Huawei Europe actually announced that there will be an update to Android M like a few weeks ago. It was supposed to be released. Now, meanwhile, you can flash the update manually, but Huawei themselves even tells you not to do it and to wait for the over the air update. Unfortunately, there are no real like dates when it will actually hit here in Germany or in other countries in Europe. And just overall, the Android just situation with updates is an absolute mess. So LG doesn't get it done with the updates, Asus doesn't, Huawei doesn't, Sony on my uh, Android TV uh, device doesn't get the update done. So I just don't understand it. I mean, it's 2016, Android M has been released half a year ago and these manufacturers just can't seem to release the updates. And this just makes me furious and I just, I just can't stand it. Now, I really want to hear from you guys what devices you own if you've seen the Android M update. Honestly, in 2016, I don't think that there's still like any kind of excuse that it takes half a year or even longer for devices to get the latest version of an operating system. Now, I don't expect from Android to push the update in like the first, I don't know, 24 hours after release like it's on iOS because there's just way more hardware from different manufacturers out there. But seriously, six months has to be enough. So that's all the time that I have for today. I really can't wait to see your comments. I mean, I personally think it's just a mess and it's a shame because there's so many great devices that retail for around like 300 years or less, but they just don't seem to get an update unless you buy Nexus. Yeah, which then makes the biggest advantage of Android that you have a wide variety and choice of hardware. It just it destroys it because if you want Android updates, then you can basically just buy Nexus or maybe the highest end Galaxy smartphone and then you're basically stuck. So there's not really a wide choice, not much wider than there is on iOS. So I hope that manufacturers sometime finally just get their act together and that they just push out the updates in time Currently, I don't have much hope, but yeah, that's it. So thanks for watching and see you tomorrow.